Shohei Otani, you did it again. A lot of major league hitters would like to know how you can get 16 hits in your last 19 at bats with runners in scoring position. What has been the key for you to come through in these spots? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
You mentioned the outside noise. How much do you guys listen to the outside noise, and do you use it as motivation? No, we don't really listen to it, but, you know, uh, when, when, you're, when you're in the DS, you have all the games on the TV, right? Yeah. And so um, all across the bottom line, every commercial, they, every time they go to break, they're talking about how the Padres are going to beat us. And, you know, we're... we're I picked we're, you guys. Did you? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't yeah. even remember. He who forgot. He, he forgot who he picked. But, so, like, you know, we don't pay attention to it. But when you're when you're trying to watch the other games and, you know, watch baseball, it's just all across the TV rolling across. And so, um, you know, no one's really paying attention to it. But at the same time, when you see that just across the screen all the time, it kind of fires you up a little bit. Hey, Max, congratulations on the win tonight. I always say that you and the Oscar give the balance to that lineup, especially having those big guys up front. You got to give the lineup a lot of depth. When you see a guy like Freddie Freeman playing the way he is, what goes through your mind? The guy's a gladiator, man. Uh, he can hardly walk out there. He's, he's you know, it, it's hard for us to ask him to do what he's doing every single day, but uh, when it comes to Freddie, that's not even a question in his mind. He wants to go out there and give it his all, and you know, it's it's nice when we have some games like this where we can get him out a little bit earlier, um, you know, give that ankle a little bit of break, and maybe get him ready for tomorrow. But um, you know, it's just having some depth throughout the lineup is nice, and uh, you know, everyone understands their skill set, and uh, I don't think anyone's trying to be anyone other than themselves, and that's something that's really huge. Max, you've probably answered already every Otani question. There's possibly, but for a national audience that hasn't had an opportunity to watch you guys and Otani, how good is it to see him come back like he did in game one against the Padres and step up in a big way again today? Yeah, he's, you know, he keeps getting put in positions where people are asking something unexpected and unbelievable to happen, and somehow he he quits, he, he, he doesn't disappoint. Uh, it's, it's very rare when you see a guy not disappoint when he's asked to do something incredible every single bat. And he's, he's been that way the entire year for us. And, uh, you know, early on he talked about he struggled with runners in scoring position, and he was able to just, you know, we, we, we kind of talked to him about it and allowed him to be himself, and he's been taken off ever since. Hey, you know that you are one of my favorite players. Your body language at the plate <laughs> reminds me. You say that to every guy we have Bro, up here. Bro, let me finish. <laughs> Your body language at the play remind me of a good friend of mine named Jason Giambi. And because of it, I got to hand you one of my dog shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These are going for big money on eBay right now, Max. Oh, boy. All right. All right. My dog. I'll take it. I'll take it. Absolutely. <laughs> Why, wash your car with it. <laughs> Guy drives in two runs on, in man. game one of the LCS. He gets a My Dog t-shirt here on, on <laughs> FS1. Max, congratulations, man. Thanks for taking some time Thank with you. us. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. We appreciate so, you. Thanks.